In this video I'll teach you how to create gradient backgrounds in Blender 3.5 and the new real-time viewport compositor. In Blender and with the product in the scene, let's change this window to compositor, activate use notes and turn on the compositor pressing on camera or always. Go to film and activate transparent background. Now in the compositor, let's add a alpha over node, connect it here, change this connection to the second slot. Now we have a solid background, but in this video we are going to create a gradient background. Let's move these nodes a little bit, add a mask, in this case an ellipse mask, let's connect it to the composite. Now we can see the mask on the viewport. Let's change the width and the height of the mask. Let's add a blur node to soften the mask. We can increase the value on X and Y. Now we can add a mix node and connect the blur node to the factor. Connect the mix node to the composite. And let's change the colors. And as we can see, we have a gradient background, but I'll add an RGB node. I'm going to connect this one here to the second slot of the mix node. Let's change the color. And now I'm going to add a hue saturation value. We need to connect the blur node to the hue saturation value and this one to this one. I'll change the value to 0.1 and we can increase the saturation. Let's make some changes to the color and maybe to the mask, something like that. Before we mix the product with the background, my new 3D product animation course is now available on Skillshare. It is also available on my Gumroad page, the link in the description of this video. Now, to mix it with the product, we need to move the alpha over node and connect the mix node here and connect this one to the composite. And with this, we have a gradient background for our product. If you have an object with a transparent material, you can add a plane and apply a material to it with the same color as the background. As you can see, it's really easy to create gradient backgrounds with Blender 3.5 and the new real-time viewport compositor. You can also check this video where I teach you how to create infinite backgrounds in Blender 3.5 using the real-time viewport compositor. I'll see you on the next one.